okay in the fourth problem you have been given with magnetic field which is given by the vector in the rectangular coordinate system as this and you are asked to calculate the current density j at a particular point and also you are asked to calculate the current passing through some surface or the closed loop actually this is the surface and this is the closed loop so current passing through this loop and in the c bit you have you are asked to uh, find out del dot b always for the magnetostatics i told you del dot b that means divergence of the magnetic flux over the closed loop is always zero so this we have to prove so let us take the first bit a we have to calculate j given h what is the formula to calculate j using the maxwell's curl equation which is nothing but j is equal to del cross h so you you need to uh, get the curl curl means uh determinant of <coughs> doing the determinant of uh, del operator and the h so which is nothing but ax ay az do by do x do by do y do by do z hx hx means x component which is given by yz x square plus y square hy hy is nothing but minus y square xz hz it is nothing but 4x square y square so this h is nothing but it is given in this form you always remember the vector always is represented in this one in this way hx ax hy y hz az so here you need to write hx hy hz okay so that is what we have written now we need to take the determinant so it is ax into do by do by of this one do by do y of 4x square y square 4x square is constant if you take it is 2y which is nothing but 8x square y minus do by do z of this do by do z is minus of minus plus y square x okay plus ay in ah uh, sorry minus ay into do by do x of this do by do x of this is 8x y square um uh, it is the closest thing this and this so do by do z of this one that means minus y x square plus y square z together yes uh, and a z into this one do by do x of this one which is nothing but minus y square z minus uh, do by do y of this one which is nothing but z into x square plus y square yes so you, you and you were asked to calculate j at what point at 5 comma 2 comma minus 3 so whatever is the equation you got you just have to substitute the values there so it is ax 8x square x square is 25 into y is 2 plus y square is 4 x is 5 this is ax minus ay into 8 x is 5 y square is 4 Minus y two into x square is twenty five plus y square is four plus y z I will write here y z into minus y square which is four into z it is minus three minus z is minus three into x square plus y square that means twenty five plus four okay yes so let's simplify this a x so if you simplify x component so you will get only x component so j dot ds becomes 8x square y plus y square x dy dz okay j dot ds becomes this dot this one dy dz ax so ax dot ax is one remaining the, this into this you got this okay now do the integration along y and z so it is uh it is 8 integral we have to do it with respect to dy and dz so you don't have any expression related to z so it is integral to 0 to 2 dz integral 0 to 2 8x square y plus y square x i can write like this dy right so this is nothing but this is 2 this one is 2 this one we are writing here 8 x square is constant so y and y square by 2 integration 0 to 2 you need to substitute in the place of y alani here x is constant your y which is nothing but y y cube by 3 0 to 2 so uh, whole multiplied this is whole multiplied by 2 it is nothing but 2 into this is 
four x square. You need to substitute in terms of in terms of y. So it is y square into four plus x by three. Your y cube y cube into eight over. Okay. So now. And your x value is constant here in this plane. X is equal to minus one. So substitute x as minus one at the end. We here four fours are sixteen. Okay, sixteen. X x square is anyway one square. Sixteen two zero. Sixteen two zero is thirty. Sixteen two zero is thirty two. Here x is equal to minus one. So it is minus two by three into eight. So if you do this, if you do the calculation using the calculator, two two eight is sixteen. Sixteen divided by three is five point. Okay, so thirty two minus five point three three. Okay, thirty. I do thirty two minus five point three three, which is given by twenty. I am writing like this here. Twenty six my ah uh, twenty six point. Six seven amperes. This is the total current. Total current that is passing through this surface. Okay, and in the same way, this is I am leaving it for you. You can calculate easily what is B. If you once you know G, H, you can calculate B. Right? What is B? C bit. I am writing here only, or else I can write here. C del dot B is equal to zero. You need to prove where B is equal to mu into H. H is already given. Right? So uh, you need to Take the uh, divergence of B. So divergence and dt. Do by do x a x. Do by do x a x plus do by do y a y plus do by do z a z. Dot product with h x a x h y a y h z a z. Okay. So if you take the dot product, you will get do by do x h x. Do by do y h y, do by do z h z. You will get. Okay, na x dot a x, a y dot a y, a z dot a z. So you already know h. What is h? H is already given. So b you just have to multiply mu. That's it. So h is given as this thing. The entire thing I am writing here. Uh, h is given as. Um, h is given as y z x square plus y square a x. Minus y square x z a y plus four x square y square a z ampere per meter ampere per meter. So your b is nothing but mu times of h. You can just multiply mu and write the same thing. B is given in terms of Weber per meter square. Don't forget the units. Now you need to uh, the h x can't be b x. Okay, because you need to find out del dot b. Right, so b x b y b z. You write b x b y b z after you calculate this b, and do the uh, differentiation with respect to this differentiation with respect to x. This differentiation with respect to y. This with respect to z. So it is uh, del dot b. I am writing directly. If you do the differentiation with respect to x here, it is y z two x. Okay, differentiation y square will become zero. Alani, here you need to do the differentiation with respect to y. So it is two y x z, and here the differentiation with respect to z, there is no z component, so a z variable is not there, hence it is zero. Okay, so what is it? Two x y z. Here also two x y z. Both are cancelling, and you are getting zero. So this is what is the proof that is asked. Del dot b is equal to zero. So this is your fourth problem. What is given and what is asked, you just have to relate with the formulas. You know that's.